Good day everyone, we will be talking about modems. This lesson will teach you about common model verbs in English. This module is designed for learners who have a basic understanding of English grammar but who want to learn more and improve their skills for everyday speaking or writing as well as for academics. Likewise, models will help you talk about abilities, possibilities, impossibilities, and preferences. The focus of this lesson is to grow in the student's understanding of other appropriate and useful situations where models are used. At the end of this module, you will be able to identify what models are and express permission, obligation, and prohibition using models. Verbs are used to express a statement or fact or what is considered to be a fact or what is intended or expected to become fact. But what are models? These are the special type of auxiliary verb that alter or complete the meaning of the main verb. They can also indicate the level of formality in the conversation and do not take as for the third person. Also, models are used to state non-factual concepts like possibility, permission, prohibition, necessity, and obligation. They have meanings of their own and they are also used to form negatives. Let us discover the different usage. One of the most commonly used models in English that expresses ideas such as capacity, permission, or request. She can speak French. He can come in now. Can you lend me your pen, please? So the following statements express capacity, permission, and request. In addition, can is often used to ask and express permission, especially in colloquial speech, such as you can stay as long as you want, and can I take some clients? Another model is may. It is most commonly used to express possibility and can also be used to give or ask for permission. Examples, Maria may be at school or at home. So there's a possibility that Maria may be at school or at home. May you leave the room with me? Yes, he may leave the room with you. So if you're about to ask or give permission, you should use may. Might. It is more commonly used to indicate possibility. However, it can also be used to make suggestions or requests. Examples. Your backpack may be under the desk. You might go to the altars during your visit. Might I open the door? So you will notice that in Britain's standard, they are using might in terms of requesting. Might is also used for permission and possibility in past tense sequences. Like, he might return at any time. She said he might leave early. Must. It can be used to talk about certainty that is something you are almost sure is true. Moreover, it can be used to talk about obligation, prohibition, necessity, or strong recommendation. Mass it can be also used in emphasizing intention, expressing a necessary action, describing a duty, giving an order, and giving a recommendation. Examples, she must be sick, she never gets late to school. Student must pass an essay examination to study at the school. You must drink a lot of water to protect your voice. And Sarda, you must always do your homework. Shall. It indicates a future action and is more commonly used with the first person singular and plural I and V and often found in suggestions, promises, or predestinations. You can also notice that shall is used in future tense. Examples. Shall we set a table? I shall never leave your side. She shall become our next queen. So if you want to have suggestion, promise, or predestination, you use shall. Should. This model is more commonly used to give recommendation or pieces of advice. It can also be used to talk about obligation as well as expectation. Examples. When you have many classes, you should take a bottle of water with you. You should focus more on your assignments. I should be at work before 7 p.m. At this moment, they should already be in New York. In formal writing, should is a polite form for mass. Should is also used to express what is the right thing to do, such as all students should attend the flag ceremony at 7.30 a.m. and people should learn to reuse, reduce, and restore. And lastly, we have ought to. 
it is used to advise or make recommendations. It can also express assumption, expectation, or strong probability when the context implies that something is deserved, such as she ought to stop eating red meat. Some ought to get a promotion. Those apartments ought to increase in value due to the construction of the new mall. But there is no difference between should and ought to. So like for example, we, we ought to find other ways to save Mother Earth. And parents ought to educate the household helpers. And so in short, models are helping verbs which are used with the principal verb to express certain moods like ability, obligation, possibility, request, suggestion, and permission. And also, we use the model when we want to convey an attitude or feeling. So that would be all for today. I hope you learned something. Thank you.